Hi students, welcome to Wichkem YouTube channel. Now the registration is activated for the students who are appearing to the JE Advanced through the JE Mains Qualified. Okay, so there were the two, three types of application for in students and one time uh, those who are applied for the 2020 but not uh, not appeared and the third is category that is what we are going to discuss in this video that is those who qualified the 2021 and wanted to appear for the je advance after qualified so every every category got the separate criteria for the qualify qualifying it is there in your uh, rank card also you can also check okay and if you still have any doubt whether you are qualified to, and you can write the je advanced or not you can ask me in the comment section with your category and i will let you know the percentile you got it because every category percentile cutoff for the advanced appearing is different okay and in this uh, video i'm going to tell you live with live uh, session what is going to appear in the screen each and everything I am going to explain. So those who applied also might have committed some mistakes. So do forward this video to the students so that they can also rectify the mistakes if they have done anything. Okay. Or if you face any problem, you can also contact me in my telegram group. That link I will be giving you in the description box. And uh, I think all of you might have already liked this video. If not like, like this video. And for, for any further counseling type of doubts, you can uh, subscribe my channel and share it to your friends. Feel free to share it to your friends so that they can also get benefited by give, getting the correct information in the right direction. So here when you go to the JE Mains Advanced, okay, Advanced website, that link also I will be giving you in the description box then there you can apply okay so when you are applying then you will be redirected to the another web page so that web page on the right hand side corner this will be appeared okay so for clarity i have zoomed it and i am showing to you so on the left hand side you have to put a uh, blue mark when you select you can check here blue mark will be appeared okay so then these are the things you require to uh, uh, require to submit so all, all everybody to keep this information ready. So if you have any problem, just make a note of it and you can re-log in and you can uh, add them. So better to, uh, what is the best method is go through this video well before applying and make all the points which are required before the applying like these many things you required and some documents also required. And the documents people are facing problem is their uh, format. What is the format and what is the KB limitation? And photograph also, sign also. So many things are required to be kept in scanned and ready for the uploading. So those are all the things you will come to know once you go through this video right from the beginning to the end. So I expect everybody to continue till the end of the video but whether it is lengthy. Okay. So after write, uh, writing the application number and password and the security code only you have to enter over here. So when you press login, when you press login, then the next screen will appear like this. The next screen will be appearing like this. This is going to have the some fees details. So it depends upon the category. Okay. So category to category, there are different types like female candidates for all, all categories 1400. SCST 1400 all other categories 2000 likewise they are clearly given so that much amount you should keep keep ready okay so here you can check here registration procedure okay so the total registration procedure is going to be three simple steps so let's start with the first one okay so first to fill up of the filling up of the registration form so what are the things you need to fill that you should know okay so this is what I was saying, for example, uh, required for the candidates, okay. So there are some essential documents, there are some non-essential documents. That is, some, for somebody it is required, some, for somebody it may not be required, okay. So for example, okay, class 10th, cert, class 10th or birth certificate, it is required by everybody, okay. And it should be in the format of the PDF, okay. 
and minimum size 50 kb maximum size 300 kb so likewise these all documents and their purpose okay so required by all are not required by only few students so this list already i have given in my previous video that video link will be in the description box anyhow after this video you are supposed to go through the description link uh, so that you can get more uh, accurate idea about the je advance examination as well as counseling process okay so these many copies you have to these many certificates whichever is required by you for example if you are sc st or bc obc ncl category student then you have to submit some additional documents okay so those are keep them in the all of you check whether it is in the pdf form whether it is in the jpg format minimum kb and maximum kb which should be within the limits okay so then once you have uh, once you are ready with them then you have to pay registration fees whatever the amount i told you as per the category and as per the gender then you have to pay the registration fees okay so once you pay the registration fees see you have to keep a password and there are some normal requirements only everywhere minimum eight characters a special character and all okay so then i have read and understood then you have to proceed for registration online okay so then this type of screen will be there though where you will be having the photograph and signature so this page is going to have the photograph and the signature okay so you have to make sure that it should be clear and recent passport file size photo and signature also okay so then next and the just bottom of that you will be having this one okay so once you enter the your details of the je mains so most of the things will take up uh, from the j main site only only few requests they have a few additional things they are asking in this one so it is going to be a very easy process so here uh, whether you are qualified india or not it is it a first attempt or not simple questions okay so if you are blind or eye vision or like that 40 percent pwd candidate roll number of class 12th examination so this is what most important one you should keep that class 12th uh, hall ticket number okay that is admit card number then there is a special requirement for the general and ews candidates okay so this must be issued after the april 1 2021 again you will be given an option to give you the category certificate declaration but you have to keep it ready and don't make it as a habit that giving declaration and thinking afterwards better to apply i think all of you must have already applied after the first april if not do it fast so that it should not be a problem during the counseling session so after the EWS then comes the center selection so these are the center selection whatever the centers available are there through the drop down menu you can select the center okay so then the next one is the candidate uh, communication detail compute complete communication detail address details you have to fill up and then you submit okay that's it and you are successful in the registration all the best do well and keep checking which came and don't forget to subscribe my channel share this video to all your friends get them benefited and be ready and watch again if you have any problems thank you bye bye